take this opportunity to thank every one of y'all for being with us today. And today, we're celebrating the next chapter of the James B. Bean Distilling Company's history. You know, back in 2017, after my mother's funeral, I was asked by Bean Suntory leadership, you know, how do you envision the future of our company? You know, in my mind, you know, that was always pretty clear. Since the future of our company is the future of our family. The thing I wanted to do was to ensure we built a true home for the James B. Beam Distilling Company. Imagine my surprise when Freddie dedicated the new distillery in my name in 2019 at the groundbreaking. I had no clue it was coming. He really got me. The Fred B. No Distillery represents not only the future of the James B. Beam Distilling Company, but the future of American whiskey. You know, and that's exactly why Freddie will be leading the next chapter, embodying the heritage and the legacy of our family with our history in distilling while pioneering the future of American whiskey. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my greatest honor to introduce my son. The new master distiller of the Fred Bean Story. I think I'll surprise him today for a change. It was pretty tough, but we got it done. But you know, you know, I never really had the chance to work with my dad, Booker No in the distillery creating products. You know, I always wish I had, because I would love to have heard what he had to say, what a master distiller really was. But now I will have that chance to work with Freddie by my side. You know, it's gonna be cool in the Fred Bino Distillery. And you know, it's the first time in history of the James B. Beam Distilling Company that two family members have worked side by side, both holding the master distiller title. Yeah. Freddie has always led by with taste, representing the traditions of America's first family of bourbon, you know, and letting his creativity elevate new American whiskey profiles. Today is the first step as we prepare him to lead the James B. Beam Distilling Company one day as the eighth generation master distiller. Yeah. But I ain't leaving just yet. <laughs> so join me in raising a glass. Everybody needs a little glass here. I need a big glass. <laughs> I got one. I wanted to, to say to thank those before us and those that are with us today as we embark on our next chapter. A symbol of what can be a taste of the future of American whiskey. Here's to Freddie No. Here's to the future of the James B. Bean Distilling Company. And here's to our beloved homeland, Kentucky. Cheers. Cheers. Damn, I need a dip. Also, I have another little surprise. I'm afraid he might have figured this one out. Our good friends at Vendome, I made a little call to Mike Sherman and said, I need a little favor. And so uh, we got Freddie a thief made, spare the moment. It's got his name on it and the date. And uh, I, I was up meeting Mike just a little while ago when he was going to get lunch. I was afraid he was going to see me. But we kind of met like a a deal on the side of the road up here. <laughs> and all of a sudden, here comes my son driving by, going to get a sandwich. <laughs> Here's your own thief. <laughs>